ông quy chụp ông nội dung đại bác to cái trong đại ca thì sẽ mặc cả hay được đi đôi cao lực hiện để bàn cầm nọt cả vì một sớm mấy cứ nâng một to cả tăng thôn một đến đầu trong phố xã xây xuống dưới cướn đời mấy từ vì cả việc đấy lục muốn chia hay một nông đạo vị tài chủ từ mấy từ vì cả việc đấy xong chơi những thời thay có vị thí là người cả bây giờ thành hiệp vật đồng miền vật đồng miền phía kia đường bộ để ông nhập lên hàng chuyên ở chỗ rùm được nông cây trồng đại ca sản đại ca đi xong cột lộc thiên cột phía kia tiếng ở nước nông rừng đại ní miền vật đồng miền lợn lên tại chôn chọt chào yên sơn lý miền vật đồng miền nơi bận tục không cuốn hàng cào bận tục sản đại ca đào chôn chọt chào bàn sơn sông lẹ băng sắt tam địa mê tv đã bỏ cốt nông ca chôn rùm đồng đại ca để tiện thi đại tổ bị bận tục sản đại ca xâm rạp rạp bê bình mùi thịnh ngay nê thịnh ngay xa mạng ca nì. Lì khất lẹ bóng sớt rộ bọt chôn chọp cháu, bàn bọc cố đo gà làm chi rụi hào ý. Đói lại, xa xây bóng rống, xâm rạp xa mạng ca nơi thịnh ngay nì, cư xa xây đài miên rà hà sân niếm, thi xí đạp bầy dư bàm mùi rồi bàm bốn, xa xây rụng nì, miên vọt tùm miên nơi bần tục rong chám, rong chám ca có hai bị ong chôn nông dùm rẻ. Xa cứ cốt mình miên tùm nẹ tùm nông nhiệt lồ hất Rứ nhiệt phun chìa môi nâng chôn chọp chào tràng bay rút Rứ hiện kì đa mặt đăng rọt bạc về ní Đại ban tổ tu sôn nà môi nụ tề Sạ xây ban thua dòng bọt rụi hói Nơi chùm phô mộng lục tạ đọng bọng đáy Ca bị thay thị đọng bốn khai xây hà chân nam bí phong đọc bí ní Xong mọc con ông nhập ra sản phẩm là sản phẩm sâm được bảo chuẩn chấp chọn yên dược lý ông nhập ra bản đồ tuổi sâm được bảo chuẩn chuẩn chấp chọn yên dược lý cho thằng này thì đập ram khai xây hà chín năm bị bòn đập pí tam địa mê tây ca pí cây bạc cốt sâm là bằng sứt cho rùm nông sản nạc ca đập to nông một tụt sản nạc ca ní đời sâm nơi tam đan cây chấm nạc ca sản nạc ca bị chấm ngái tam đập bòn thọt tuột tam đập địa pí đập nạc ca sản nạc ca pin một thằng này ní lúc bây giờ mình đã xuất sai một group ad từ tour bị nứt phía bờ thay tổng tổng cục phim chuẩn chụp chào nơi bận tì không khang này ở bờ tàu có bàn bị nứt tổng cục phim lục yên dưới nơi bực nỉ cọt tổng quan khởi thá lục yên dưới miền nam cà rạ hot bị bạ trốn nơi bề phơi cho là nam bận tay bận túi chư chồng cây ở bề ông quỳ du nằng bàn bắt đón anh sát thá ông chấm rẻ cua anh nhát ở cọt nơi tam đan cây chấm nai cá sạm nai cá bị chấm ngái bị bận tục hàm cầm ông chấm đẹp dồi khơi thá nơi bên này lộ yên dưới đài bàn lẽ bằng sứt cho rùm nông cây chấm nai cá sạm nai cá đập to lắc nông một tụt sạm nai cá quạt miền bắc nhà sọc cặp hiệp đôi cục bẹt bàn quạt thùng cỏ tại rụp cai nước mặt ở đây xong trộm ai cho rùm nông tam đan cây chấm nai cá sạm nai cá bị chấm ngái vì bận tục khung khuôn mũi thân được làm sao sạm nai cá ní tam là dựa vào cầu sọt tu hay có ai chấm rùm đào tìm lại tìm nông rồi biên quạt chỉ mũi nông cầm bị tivi cà phê cây bạc quạt bàn đè ông chấm rét tầm rải dùng prom tam tầm nào xong mà được bỏ chân chọc chọc yên dưới đi để xin nào xong lấy bằng sứt châu rùm nông cây chấm nai cà sạm nai cà đại bắt đầu nông một tụt sạm nai cà ní ở lục yên dưới đi nơi tam đan cây chấm nai cà sạm nai cà bị chấm ngái vì bận tụt khung khuôn mũi thật được làm sao sạm nai cà ní tam địa bậc cao sọt tua xâm nhập địa phương phương sạm nai cà bình mũi thay ní bậc cao bậc bậc lực này sọt tua cho bậc phong thọ tua xâm nhập chân chọc chọc yên dưới đi ai tam đan cây chấm nai cà sạm nai cà bị chấm ngái xâm nhập địa phương phương sạm nai cà bình mùi thay đi và chị bắt đầu anh đã thông đòi bị ca chung từ rộng bị tử vi cả việc đây lúc nôn chía nằm bây bắt đầu ca tăng thông đoạn đến đâu chung phục xã xây hay anh em đã thông đồng lực đòi rộng bị tử vi thá có bây điệp trăm nơi thầm nua đánh đáu ở bàn xong trọp cư ở miền phía bẹp bón tên nâng ổng hết để ca chọc và cắn cư nông cụ bóng nón xoay đồ cao bất này đường cái đây là mấy bệnh trẻ bí ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ ạ 
สมชื่นมิตรที่เชิญเปิดเผยสมองคุณลูกเทียนสมบัติสูงในเชาวครอมหนึ่งเพกีถึงอ้อมในการเทียบนักชนหายสมบัติสูงสูงสุดเกินพอได้ Yesterday, that we were discussing the history of the funk and the grunt, and we had spoken about a telegram that was sent by the American embassy, which identified several persons involved in the funk and the grunt. One of them was you, and uh, you confirmed that indeed you were a member of the Funk Central Committee. One of them was uh, Mr. Kit Chun, uh, and you confirmed that Mr. Kit Chun was indeed the Secretary of the Funk Politburo Bureau. We spoke a little bit about the uh, Politburo yesterday. Um, and you have spoken about this Politburo before, uh, especially on August 8th, in court, uh, on page 34 of the English transcript, lines 8 to 12. And page 28 of my transcript, lines 2 to 5, uh, you said the following, in both Funk and Grunk, there were respective organizational management as Funk, it was a political organization, it had a central committee, and above the central committee there was a Politburo of the central committee, and Sandek Benut was the chairman of this committee. This is what you stated on August the 8th, and my question to you is simply, is this the same Politburo that Kit Chun was a member of in 1971? <coughs> ในการเสรูรุ่งเชิดกัมพูชีในเป็นอุดายมา Thank you and then the last question with regard to this telegram you may remember that yesterday I read out to you the first page of the telegram and this telegram stated that people that were marked with an asterisk were those people uh, that had been dared by Prince Sihanouk uh, to form a government uh, in the early 60s. These were, in the words of the telegrams, the people that had been publicly described as leftists, extreme leftists, leftists, and subversives. Mr. Ketchun was indeed marked with an asterisk, and my question to you is, was Mr. Ketchun one of those 34 individuals that was there by the prince to form a government already in the early 1960s? Thank you. 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 Then I will move on to the next topic, and um, that is a bit later in time. It's the evacuation uh, of Phnom Penh. You've already described that you arrived in Phnom Penh in uh, May 1975, so after the actual evacuation took place. But when you arrived in the city, do you, do you remember whether the city was totally calm at the time or whether there was still sporadic fighting or gunfights. ពេលថ្ងៃដែលខ្ញុំមកដល់ទីក្រុងភ្នំពេញគឺនៅថ្ងៃ
Uh, has written a book God beyond the horizon, and I would like to display the relevant sections on the screen. The document number is uh, IS 3.7, English ERN is 0075475678. French ERN is 0010337278. As well. My ERN is 001-03479 till 72. And with your permission, uh, Mr. President, I would like to show um, the Khmer version on the screen, and I have a hard copy of both the French and the Khmer version for the witness. Um, and while the witness is reading the hard copy, I will read out the relevant excerpt in English. My quote, it's on page 53 of the English version and page 60 of the French version and page 96 of the Khmer version. And I quote, an important post-war step had been surmounted with the new rice harvest, but the security problem remains. Under the seal of secrecy, combatants often reported that arrests were taking place and gunshots were erupting night and day in various areas. Following the evacuation, Phnom Penh was searched from top to bottom to drive out any remaining rebels. Several weeks after the liberation, some were still found in hideouts stocked with provisions. The young ones found it amusing to see that their compatriots, hidden from the sun, had turned white. End of quote. And Mr. Sun Sukun, my question to you is, does this refresh your memory? It may be that you were not in the city at the time because you arrived only on the 25th of May. But if you read this excerpt, does it refresh your memory as to possible combatants that were still hiding in Phnom Penh? តាមខ្ញុំដឹងគឺពៀសម្ដីទាំងនេះគឺថាអតីតភរិយាបស់ខ្ញុំ <coughs> บ่าวผู้คือถ้ามันทายริจริตแต่บ่าวผู้ที่ทําทุกสํานายนี้ได้เคยปู่นี้น่ะมีพอสบอลซอปั้นนี้มันแม่นที่ยุทธชนนี่
Bà, was an engineer from the Soviet Union uh, and uh, with uh, Mr. Kiet Chun. And I would like to um, show you a document, uh, and it's uh, the book you yourself wrote. It's called uh, The Odyssey of a Khmer Rouge Intellectual. Document number is IS 3.9 uh, and also E number E 3.40. And the English ERN is uh, 008-13077 uh, till uh, 103. And the French ERN is 0078986 till 39. And the Khmer ERN is 0058304 until 636. And with your permission, uh, Mr. President, I would like to show the uh, Khmer version on the screen. And we have both a French and a Khmer copy for the witness. And like before, I will read out the relevant Mid excerpt, which can be found on English uh, ERN 0813084, uh, Khmer ERN 0053613, and the French ERN 0078999. And I quote, when Kim so joined the Ministry of Information, I remained with Kit Chun and Keo Bori, an engineer who had returned from Moscow, to reorganize the ministry. Throughout June 1975, we lived in the Pink House next to the Royal Palace. It was a beautiful villa which belonged to Princess Po, one of Sambek Nurum Sihanouk's wives. During the period of the Khmer Republic, it housed the office of the military attaché for the Kingdom of Thailand. The three of us, Kiet Chun, Buri and me, formed the nucleus of what later became the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Democratic Kampuchea. Mr. Yang Seri, our superior, came to visit us from time to time. My question, uh, Mr. Sun Sukun, is what, what did you mean when you stated that uh, the three of you, Ketchun, Buri, and yourself, formed the uh, nucleus of what later became the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? ຈົນນາຫຼືກໍສໍາລັບສະຖາບັນເຖີນາຄົດນຸ້ນຕາລູກອາຍຕິຍຸນຕະລາກາບານເຕມາຍັງຂ້ອຍຕັ້ງໃ
คือยืงตามด้านเพียบกาอันตรายชีวการวิวัตในเสพการอันตรายชีวิตได้เตะตบตอลดอลดมนาริจุลล์ในกาตอสูบอยืงในขนมเตะกร้อยปีไทยรุ่งดอกตีดอกบุญเมษาบุญปอนบุญรัชสปรัมหายจึงปีกาวิเพียในเสพการนี้คือน้อมเจียจุ่มนุ้ยดอลเน็ตดักน้อมบ่อยืงรีบจ้อมให้นักกำนัดมีเกียรติโยบายบ่อติดรบบ่อรอดทำไมได้เติมหนึ่งการลายนี้บ่า Thank you and then if I can read to you an excerpt from the same document which you should already have um, before you. It is on page 15 of the English version, and the English ERN is 00813091, and the Khmer ERN is 00583621. To 22, and the French ERN is 00079013. If the court assistant can assist, and I will read just one line from this page. Um, and on this page, you have written alongside Ketchun. Kassit was one of the ministry's brains, even though he held no official post. And Mr. Sun Sukun, do you today confirm that Ketchun and uh, Mr. Kassit were uh, the ministry's brains? And what exactly do you mean by that? มนุษย์สำคัญบอกกระสุนตาลงมีในหนึ่งได้บ้าไม่สำคัญคือทำมีในทางลูกเกียรติชนก็กอดเจียก็ทรบเธอเจรันไตรไฮกอดบ่มพิงและคณะสมบัติมุ้ยแดนกำรองเมียนแดนในขนมจำนอมผู้ปัญญาชนยืนหนึ่งตีมุ้ยก่อนเจียมนุชเรวิเจียนแดนในชมุกชมุลสายเฉลียวหายรกยุลรกดังรกซีจำเลยจำพวกปัญหามุ้ยแต่การลายตีปีก็เมียนอัตจรักมุ้ยคือตุลีย์จตุลีย์สันดกหายอายประมาณประมูลจองกรองมนุษย์บานเชิญมันตามเข็มดังขนงกิจการบอกก็ก็มันได้เมียนสตรีตอลครูนิตย์เดี๋ยวฉันน้องก็มันเป็นเล็กหนักมุ้ยได้สูรุ่งนั่งสไลด์เตะตรงสูรุ่งนั่งสะก้าหายก็เจียมนึกตรองได้ก็เคยอยู่ไว้ก็โยนไว้ก็แต่งแต่เหมือนเช่นมาเตะรบกัดมันเละเลียมเตะออกปีปัวปีปุ้งก็ปั้นแต่ก่อนมันแจกแต่เมียนมาเตะเจตัวเตะเตะก่อนเมียนเตะจิมปัวเตะเนาะนะได้เจเนาะตัวเขาเตะรบบ่เนาะกอดตอนได้ไอ้ขนมเป็นนี้ลูกอิงสรีกอดเจียมนุกแดงสลับมาเตะเนาะเราเตะไอ้ก่อนปีนิ้วเอาสหกรณ์บอกก่อนนึงเมียนมาเตะเลยครูปัญหาหายก้มเมียนโดยทางบารอบรวยบารอมหรือคลายลงไปไอ้อ้อยเมียนมาเตะก็ปั้นแต่เตยแต่อ้อยเมียนสมาร์ตได้ตัวเขาเตยก็ตายแต่นายนอมยืนท่า
bờ miền mặt tệ ở vấy trời kịch cú ta ta dương miền mặt tệ tứ biên miền phải chạy giang ná pro dương nơi chết nét đặc nòm Mr. Sun Sukun, I appreciate you trying to answer my questions and doing so extensively. But my question did not relate to Mr. Ying Sari. Perhaps my colleague will have questions regarding Mr. Ying Sari later. But I was focusing on the lower downs in Office B1. And so the follow-up. Um, question uh, relates to that. Before I ask the follow-up question, uh, you mentioned that uh, Mr. Kitchun had been a former minister. And can you tell us what sort of former minister Mr. Kitchun had been? ចោទប្រកាន់ជនជាប់ចោតដែលយកមកសហសហនាការនេះទេហើយការផ្ដល់ទៅខេកម្មចំពោះសំនួននេះតំណងជាមិនផ្ដល់វិធីគ្រឿ
And as I have already mentioned, other persons were supposed to be arrested, notably Kit John and Tune Prasit, but the young Sari opposed their arrest, explaining to Pol Pot that if Kit Chun and Tune Prasit were to be arrested, he might as well shut down the ministry. End of quote. Mr. Kit Chun, this statement by you um, at least suggests that uh, Ying Sari thought that um, these individuals, Kit Chun and Tun Prasit, were very important people at B1. But I would like to have your understanding of the matter. According to you, were Kit Chun and Tun Prasit indeed important workers at B1? ແລະលោកធានខ្ញុំមុនឆ្លើយមួយនឹងខ្ញុំសមញ្ញាតិពីលោកធានបាទអង្គ <coughs> ສົມລູກ <coughs> Mr. President, I will try to rephrase the question. Mr. Sun Sukun, did you share Ying Sari's feeling that Kit Chun and Tun Prasit were uh, important workers at uh, B1? Mr. President, can I ask for clarification because I have not heard so far during Mr. Sun Sun's testimony him being posed a question. I will move on to the next uh, statement, um, Mr. Sunsukun, uh, which is document number E3-42, um, also known as document D167, and it's a statement you gave on the 6th of May 2009, and I have the hard copy available um, in my, if the court officer wants to provide, um, can, may provide the witness with this statement. The English ERN is 00. Three, two, seven, two, one, two. French ERN is um, zero, zero, three, two, seven, two, 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 and the Khmer ERN is zero, zero, three, two, seven, two, zero, zero. And with your permission, um, Mr. 
Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, confrères, consoeurs. Simplement une question de méthode concernant la, les citations de M. l'avocat. En fait, la dernière citation n'a pas pu être euh, citée euh, exactement mot par mot, mot à mot, euh, en français, parce que euh, la page, le numéro de page n'a pas été donné aux interprètes. Donc, cette fois-ci, pour le document D167 ou E3-42, ce serait utile que le Conseil de la Défense de Nuncia donne directement les pages pertinentes où sera, dont l'extrait sera lu, de manière à ce que les interprètes puissent suivre adéquatement euh, la citation. Mr. President, I can give the um, French year-end number for the document, and that is 0032722 until 0032723. Uh, I do not have the exact page reference, but uh, all parties here questioning this witness have um, sometimes been allowed to quote from documents that are or when they only have the reference in English and Khmer, or as the prosecutor has done himself, uh, just one language. So I um, have provided the documents, uh, the, do the page numbers of the documents as far as we know them, but the exact reference we do not know. We have, don't have French language capability in our team to research uh, this type of position. So, with your permission, can I quote the document so that it may also be translated into French? Thank you. Before I quote, I will explain, Mr. Witness, that this is a, this is a question that relates to the structure of B1. It um, is relevant to assess the structure of the people working at B1 and their responsibilities, and that is what uh, the question uh, will um, address. So I quote uh, your answer on that page. Um, Yang Sari did not inform me personally. He said that in he said that in a meeting of the General Policy Department, if I remember correctly, attended by his closest assistants, Tun Tasit, Ketchun, Tok Kamdun, Oksakun, Chan Yudan, Bebu Nulet, and myself, and also Mr. Mrs. Sose, Secretary of the Party Cell. Full stop. Tun Prasit and Ketchun had been accused of being CIA agents and the security committee had wanted to arrest them. Yang Sari had explained that the ministry could not work without them. One must understand that he had complete trust in them. All of these people, like me, were part of the Marxist-Leninist group of Khmer students in Paris, of which Yang Sari was the founder with Keng Van Sak and Rand Rat Samun. And to further the question, Mr. Sunskun, is the following, because I want to further understand the structure of B1 and the level of responsibility. Did you share uh, Mr. Ying Sari's vision that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs could not work without Tun Tasit and Ket Chun? លោកធានតើអានេះមិនជាសំណួរទេសួរពីយោបល់របស់ខ្ញុំតែខ្ញុំត្រូវឆ្លើយ
Mr. Sunsukun, I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm asking you to uh, base your answer on your experience working at B1 for several years. In your assessment, could the Ministry of Foreign Affairs work without Tun Prasit and Ke Chun or not, as seems to be the opinion of Mr. Yingsari? Thank you, Mr. President. I will move on to um, a next document, and it still relates to the structure at B1, and I would like to quote an excerpt from Philip Short's book, uh, Anatomy of a Nightmare, and the English ERN is, um, the document number, excuse me, is E3-9. The English ERN is 0039617171. French ERN is 00639445, and those are the only two languages in which it seems to exist on the case file. The exact reference can be found on uh, English page number ERN 00396547. Till for eight, and to for especially for the prosecutor, the French exact reference number is zero zero six three nine nine zero one. And with your permission, I would like to show this excerpt on the screen, and I have a uh, copy in French for the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. I will, in the meantime, read the excerpt that I want to put to the witness, uh, and I quote, and this is a passage which speaks about Pol Pot. It's on English page number 339. And I quote, the result was that he, and he is Pol Pot, the result was that he was constantly disappointed by his subordinates, by his, by his subordinates' capabilities. That fueled the purge of elements judged to be disloyal. It also made him spend time on trivia that would have been better left to others, like Sihanouk, who personally inspected the place settings before official banquets. Paul approved the menus for state receptions, sent laundry lists, on, sent laundry lists of instructions to provincial officials, officials receiving government guests, chose the announcers for Radio Phnom Penh and supervised the program schedules. In a society where the words of the king had always been law, initiative was still born. To Sun Sikun, micromanaging the smallest details was part of Paul's conception of leadership, a firm hand with no sharing of power. He wanted to monopolize everything. End of quote. And Mr. Sun Sikun, Mr. Shorts, Look, uh, Philip Schott, quotes your words here, and my first question to you is, do you remember speaking uh, to Mr. Short about the DK regime? Philip 
นักทัวร์เชียการเงินไปกังในช่วงจมตรอบสกอลกอดได้หายมุนกอดสุดเสพเพลินก่อนนี้คือท่าเข็มบานจูนนำนาก้อนนำใบจูบเนื้อนมกำปิเชียบเชียบใจถมเชียบใช้คางปุกของตอมโดยท่าลำใบสมรู้กิจการบอกก็เขียนบานจูนก็โดยเช่นเขียนมันอาจปฏิสัยเตถาขนมเปลือยลำนาเนี่ยเขียนมันบานยี่อันปีกำปิเชียบเชียบใจบ้าสมองคนลูกสุดสุดนี่คือเจ้าแม่จับหล่อ My question to you is the following. Mr. Short quotes you as saying about Pol Pot, and I quote, micromanaging the smallest details was part of Pol's conception of leadership, a firm hand with no sharing of power. He wanted to monopolize everything. End of quote. Today, Mr. Sun Sukun, do you My apologies, Mr. President. I will slow down. Mr. Sun Sukun, I was quoting from your own words to Mr. Short, and I quote, when you're speaking about Pol Pot, quote, micromanaging the smallest details was part of Pol's conception of leadership, a firm hand with no sharing of power. He wanted to monopolize everything. End of quote. My question is, Mr. Do you still stand by that assessment of Pol Pot today? Mr. Short, you are correct in your statement that the Pol ปนแต่นี่จะสืบเพื่อถ้าลูกหลอกบ้านชลายชลองยมวินึงเนี่ยจะเสียสิบเพื่อนี่ได้หรือที่คลำซาเนี่ยคลำซาได้ลูกมือ
อมปีกาดดังน้องมาบอกปอลปอดแบบโปรกเข็มทรบานรู้ในจมูกกอดปีชนะได้ให้มันต่อมกูขนมกลางเงี้ยมันเป็นพระไก่บอกย้อมเข็มกูเป็นคลาสเข็มกูตูตัวตูมันเจี๊ยบตอนปีกอดได้คือไว้ไว้คือกอดหมดจัดนะกอดเกิดกูตังปีอาการมันตึงตุ้ยอัติฮาออมาธาเพื่อทมทมโดยเฉพาะมุกรอดรอนไตรทีมุ้ยอัมปีมโหปหาได้ตัวเพียงนี้คือทากดปีนัดต่อครูนกอดมองบ่าคือปรังหาธาเมินนุ้ยบ่านานาตรึดาเชนในออกเดินมุนให้นานาเชนในมหูในสำคัญปลาเดอร์รีจิสตองใส่นั่งกัดคือกัดกูปตอลบอกกัดโดยเฉพาะตบอดสายขนมวิจุก็โดยโดยคะแนนนี้ได้ตรึนานาเยสันตรักวิจารณนักธาให้เธอกัดโดยจุ่มเรียงไว้กัดอัตบอดโดยจุ่มเรียงนี้ให้เนนาเธอเชื่อไอ้กัดกัดกูตอนบอกกัดนี่เชื่อเบียบดักน้องบอกกัดบ่าอ I would then like to proceed to a next document. It is document D 199/26.2.80. That is, it is English ERN 00442300. French ERN 00386798. My ERN 00820658. And with your permission, Mr. President, I would like to show it on the screen and the original document in French. So we have the document both in French and in Khmer for the witness in hard copy. ลูกมิตรวิยุคุณทัศน์ไทยบินนิดนั่งอ่านญาติเอาบังไฮเอกสารในเรื่องกรองคอมพิวเตอร์Thank you, Mr. President. And while the witness studies the documents, I will explain that this is a telegram dated the 10th of February 1978. It is from the stems from the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and it relates a visit by a Thai delegation to Democratic Cambodia sometime in early 1978. And While the witness reads it, I will uh, read the telegram. Uh, the topic line is visit to Cambodia by the Thai Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the head subheading is my personalities. My quote, I refer to my telegram number 217. The Thai delegation was officially welcomed by Mr. Yeng Seri, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Paul Potts, the Prime Minister, met with Mr. Upadit and some of his aides. The visitors did not meet the head of state, Mr. Pio Sampan. Mr. Pol Pot appeared capable, resolute, and confident. He spoke in the first person. He obviously wanted to impress. He obviously wanted to impress it upon everyone. That he is the man who has been running the country since 1975. 
He also took credit for the policy of friendship with Thailand, saying that he was the one who made the decision to send Mr. Ying Seri to Bangkok in October 1975. By contrast, Mr. Ying Seri cut the figure of a lowly, respectful subordinate. He hardly answered any questions immediately. He seemed anxious to always consult a higher or collegial authority each time. In the course of the discussions, Mr. Yang Suri also relied on Mr. Thun Prasits and Mr. Kiet Chun, two seasoned senior officials whose functions within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs were not specified. It would be recalled that Mr. Kiet Chun is a former Grunk Deputy Prime Minister and that Mr. Thun Prasits was also a former Grunk Minister and Health Minister and Health Minister Thun Thun's brother traveled with Mr. Ying Seri on his tour of the Asian countries in the spring of 1977 and on his visit to the United Nations last autumn. And I have not asked a question yet, but I see an objection from my colleague, so perhaps I should stop here. ខ្ញុំចុះលោកមេត្តាវីសាក់មេត្តាវីនាំមុខតំណាងដើមនៅរដ្ឋអាវិនីបាទសូមគ្រប់លោកប្រធានលោកដុស្សីចាក្រមន
ลูกรมตรีกาบอนเตไทจิมวยนังโปโปเตบาสวัสดี I hear you say that you did not attend the part of the meeting where Pol Pot met with the Thai foreign minister. So I will not ask you questions relating to that topic. In this telegram, it is mentioned that Mr. Kit Chun, according to the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is a former drunk deputy prime minister. Is that? Uh, information correct? Was the French Ministry of Foreign, Foreign, Foreign Affairs right about this? Yes, I was in the meeting with the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs. I was in the meeting with the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs. I was in the meeting with the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. President. For the record, I will just note that we are trying to establish a history of the funk and the grunk. That is what I'm doing, and that's what all the parties have been doing, prosecution, civil parties, and my colleague, Mr. Kyozampan. I'm not sure why we are not allowed to do so, but I will move on. Mr. Sun Tukun, Lok Sun Sikun, at Office B1, was there an office called, or a subsection, excuse me, called the General Leadership Committee? How ta kena dat nom ruom dai rute? Nhưng mình đại lưu thế bà Rồi khẳng này khiếm nẹ đặc nóm cư Cảm lại khiếm cư nẹ đặc nóm cư lúc Mình thay lúc em xe đi mình nẹ nóm Then I don't need to ask you any further questions Bạn Ở cốt khiếm mình xua xung nua vầy tiết Tệ tôn thiên bọt này tế Mr. Sun Sikun, still speaking about uh, the funk and the grunk, I would like to display on the screen document number B22-185.5. And the French ERN is 0038761. going to uh, 617. The document is only uh, in French and it's annexed to a uh, civil party application and with your permission I would like to show it on the screen. Mr. Sun Tukun, Sun Tukun, And while the witness is reading, I will explain that I want to ask a question about uh, ERN number 0038761717. And Kha đại thọ bản khơi bản an chỉ muốn sấn nốt từ ai chun từ xã xây vì mình được bình định bởi ai cả ta hãy đánh đầu bàn 
ภาษาไทยมันถลอบสกอลถลอบเคยไอกระทานในทีเพื่อโดยการในมันมันก็อ่อยดอกมาวิ่งให้นังดอกเจ้นปีเอกร้องคอมพิวเตอร์Of course, we'll respect that ruling, but it seems that you are reversing an earlier position and the way we've been questioning witnesses for a few months now, which is if a witness is in some way related to the subject matter of a document, he can read it and he can comment on it. If this position by the trial chamber is reversed, once again, I'm happy to follow uh, this lead, but it doesn't seem to be fair to change the proceedings in the middle of my examination. We, we will do so, but uh, again, I am... Um, Let me start with the question. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, will do so um, in writing as um, is the way uh, you prefer the proceedings to be conducted. Uh, I will, for now, ask the witness to also move that side. ແລະມັນຫນຶ່ງຄືມີການຈັນຕົះຍັງມັນສໍາຫຼັດຢູ່ໃຫ້ໄດ້ແລະຄັນໂດຍຄະນຽນນີ້ຄືການບັນຫາ
the decay regime was this indeed the composition of the Pol Pot government on the 6th of January 1979? The 6th of January 1979, so this is about the time that the Vietnamese took over power in Cambodia. ខ្ញុំឃើញមានឈ្មោះពីអត់មានតេតោងហើយរដ្ឋាភិបាលប៉ុលពោជាមកលោកគៀតឈុនឯងឈ្មោះលោកជូនមុំប្រពេលនោះ
mình thấy bà là các đội xa thì vì nó sẽ xấy hay nâng ơi bộ lực chúng tôi các đội ta nên chanh vì cái con công tớ Mr. Witness, um, the document that I just showed you is uh, a statement of the Congress, the Standing Committee of the Assembly of the Kampuchean People's Representatives, the Government of the Democratic Kampuchea, the representatives of the Democratic Kampuchea National Army, and the representatives of the various government departments, and it was um, put on uh, the, or it was on the list of documents provided by the prosecution, and it contains on page 12 of the English version, which has English ERN 00-595-274. Sadly, we do not have the French version. On page 12, under the heading of three about the executive body, it states, and I quote, at the same time, the Congress has unanimously decided to improve the composition of the government of democratic Cambodia as follows. Prime Minister, Mr. Kyrsonpon, Deputy Prime Minister in charge of foreign affairs, Mr. Ying Sari, Deputy Prime Minister in charge of national defense, Mr. Son Sen, Minister for Economy and Finances, Mr. Thium Thium, Minister for Health, Mr. Minister for Social Affairs, Mrs. Ying Therese, Minister for Culture and Education, Mrs. Yun Yat, Minister of the Prime Minister's Office, Mr. Kit Chun, Chairman of the National Commission of Sciences and Technology with Minister's Rank, Mr. Thun Mum, Secretary of State for Information, Mr. Tuk Rin, Secretary of State for Supply and Transportation, Mr. Sar Kim Lumut, and Secretary of State for the Postal Services and Telecommunications, is Mr. Chorn Hay. Mr. Sun Sukun, you have already testified that after January 1979, you stayed with the leaders of Democratic Kampuchea. As far as you know, based on your own knowledge, is this an accurate summing up of the composition of the government of Democratic Kampuchea on December 18, 1979? Mr. President, the prosecution has used this document in questioning, and perhaps more importantly, it's mentioned in the closing order directly relating to our client's Nguyen paragraph 1581 of the closing order mentions this document is being used against our client. So I would invite you to revisit this decision also because this document is mentioned in six other places in the closing order. So although it is dated after January 1979, it is clearly relevant. Mr. 
Merci, Monsieur le Président. Notre position est que ce document est pertinent dans la mesure où il peut concerner les paragraphes de l'ordonnance de clôture relatifs à la personnalité des différents accusés eux-mêmes, c'est-à-dire du sympa dans la mesure où il concerne d'autres personnalités des Khmer Rouge qui ont occupé des postes des ministres, cela semble sortir dans ce cas-là du euh, champ de, de ce procès. De leur, je pense que si des questions devaient être posées sur ce document, elles devraient se limiter aux rôles qui sont joués euh, par les différents accusés, donc après janvier 1979. So I understand your ruling to mean that this document can be used for inculpatory purposes but not to question this witness to buttress defense theories. Is this how I must understand your ruling? ตั้งสํานวนสู่บ้านสํานวนมันมันลูกมันสู่เปียกปอนจมวยอัตจรัตจุนจอบจาวดตีคือสู่เปียกปอนจมวยนักบกกลุ่มเซิงเทียดได้
and some new. Do you know that look when Mr. Hoa Nam Hong came back to Cambodia after 1975? I want to um, show you a document, and, um, document number D366 7.1.564. It is English ERN 0078096. My ERN 0063601. And French ERN is 0063081. And um, I have a hard copy for the witness. Um, if it can be put on the screen with your permission, Mr. President. Okay, Mr. So, Mr. President, um, my first question has to be, have you seen these documents before? And I can guess the answer as it is. In, I think it's the answer. Let's put it like that. Mr. President, I'm going to ask you 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 Mr. President, it's on uh, the OCP list. Uh, Number no. two nine nine P from Bon from Bon Chile Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, vous m'entendez euh, Je n'ai pas la liste des annexes sous les yeux, mais en tout cas, ce document a effectivement fait partie des documents qui étaient euh, mentionnés en avril de l'année dernière dans les documents euh, présentés par euh, mon bureau. Merci. ແລະຊິຖ້າອັນອັນຈໍາເລດມັນອະນຸຍາດໃຫ້ລູກດອກສະຣອງ Thank you, Mr. President. This is yet again a further refinement of the case law of this chamber, but I will make do. The document um, apparently stems, and I am trying to paraphrase here, 
Sumatra from the Vietnamese archives. Uh, it was submitted by the prosecution. It relates the words of uh, Mr. Hornam Hong. This, in fact, a statement by Mr. Hornam Hong. And it relates to his period when he comes back from Cuba. And again, paraphrasing, as I'm forced to, he says that he had been made to attend a study session when he came back and that that study session was led by Tune Prasit and by Mr. Kiet Chun. Thank you, Mr. President. I have not asked my question. Uh, my question relates to the structure at B1 and the division of responsibilities. Based on your experience at B1, uh, Mr. Sun Sukun, is it likely that indeed Tune Prasit and Kiet Chun conducted those study sessions that Mr. Hornam Hong was forced to attend? Okay, and Mr. Tune Prasit, can you briefly tell us what his role at B1 was during the time that you were present? You say it was a general politics Look, department. Could you give slightly more detail as to what his day-to-day -day functions would entail? ខ្ញុំ and do you know whether Mr. Tun Prasit conducted study sessions as the one I just described, or do you simply not know? Thank you, Mr. 
ហើយមន្ត្រីរដ្ឋបាលតុលាការតម្រូវបង្រួលផ្ដល់កន្លែងតម្រាក់នៅទូក